Well, happy Labor Day. Uh, you can see I'm on 144.950 on the bow thing. Uh, the bow thing is hooked up to the board via the 2.5 millimeter adapter to the crazy uh, hacked together stereo cable that I have. And that plugs into the uh, speaker ports on this board, the speaker in ports. Um, not sure why I had to do that. Um, the mic ports, which I would have thought would have been the proper ports to hook up to, didn't work. The, the line in doesn't work either. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. But uh, anyway, you look at, uh, watch the board. Let me get a little focus here. Watch the board. I'm going to walk over to my 897D, which is on the same frequency, and plug in some uh, DTMF tones. And there you have it. DTMF tones decoded right over the air. Um, the signal is, is probably very, very good from here. My antenna is only about 15 feet uh, outside. So we're probably getting a really good signal. Uh, the only difference between last night's tests that were unsuccessful and this morning's tests was that, number one, I oriented the board differently. And number two, I made sure that these two alligator clips were not shorting each other out. Um, it's possible that in my testing yesterday, I was just kind of sitting on, on the couch and I had everything sort of next to me, and it, it may not have been in, in a good orientation to, um, uh, you know, to, not, to not short out. What I need to get is a, um, a wiring harness for that. Um, I need to get one of these things. This is called a DuPont connector. Um, it's a, you know, a pl little plastic housing. I need a four port or four pin um, connector. Um, you know, we, we obviously need to have some very solid wiring uh, going on with, with, with this thing. I'm not even sure that, you know, using uh, jumpers to connect the board to the Arduino is, is really the right thing to do. I think we may probably need to put together some sort of a, a wiring harness because um, this thing is going to be subjected to, you know, spinning and bouncing, and, and I don't want to want to risk any connections coming loose. So anyway, um, we're making good progress. The next thing I'm going to work on is the Arduino programming itself. Uh, I want to set up a, uh, an, an ARM code, a disarm code, and an actual firing code, probably like a three- or four-digit sequence um, for each, and then uh, we can go from there. But uh, making progress, it's uh, looking much better than it did yesterday. So um, I will uh, catch you later. Bye.